How does an arrogant, insolent, immigrant, orphan, bastard, horse on somehow endorse an aristocratic southern adversary impossibly connected and keep me from being elected? I wanna be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens, the room where it happens. You've kept me from the room where it happens for the last time. Dear Alexander, I submit for your immediate perusal a letter from a Dr. Charles Cooper who was kind enough to give me his approval to reprint a letter that he sent in confidence. He claims that on numerous occasions you have called me a dangerous man. Furthermore, I ought not to be trusted with the reins of government. Obviously such an accusation must be met with either an immediate acknowledgement or disavowal. Now, are you capable of such a thing? I have the honor to be your obedient servant, A. Dotber. Dear Mr. Burr, I reflected on the letter I received from you on the afternoon of June 18, and I'm afraid that I cannot provide you with the kind of answer that you're looking for. The phrase numerous occasions in place of actual situations conveys infinite shades is way too vague a phrase to pin to serious allegations. What? Yes, and now how am I to disavow something so unspecific, dangerous with the reins of government? Wow, surely I said something less, but now be realistic now. I have the honor to be your obedient servant, A. Dot Hamilton. Careful how you proceed, young man, intemperate indeed, young man. Answer for the accusations I lay at your feet, or prepare to bleed, young man. No, you know what, I don't like your tone, lay it at my feet, I kick it down the road. Sorry if your life is difficult, without your wife you have to be more specific though. How is this for specific, Alexander? We hawking dawn, guns drawn. You're on. I have the honor to be your obedient servant. A dot ham. A dot burn.